Hey everyone, today I am doing this little craft DIY video. DIYs aren't really my thing, but um, let's just get into this. So you need popsicle sticks, hot glue, a hot glue gun, and paint for this one. I'm doing a DIY snowflake. Now, mine's pretty rough. I'm sure you guys can do better. Um, but first I started making these Y shapes, and it was simple. All right, and then once you have your Y shapes, you need six of those. I should have said that earlier. Um, you're going to make this main like six point star snowflake, not star, snowflake shape. Did I say star earlier? I mean snowflake. Um, we're doing a snowflake here. So you're going to do this um, six point snowflake shape. And then once you do that, you're going to make like little connectors between all of the points. All right, and then you're going to start attaching your Y shapes to your main Ferris wheel looking frame right now. All right, and I happen to have some paint out, so I decided to paint mine. You could do white, you could add glitter to this. Um, there are all kinds of things that you can do, and this was just a really simple way. Or you can leave it, which I think is beautiful as well. Like I said, I just had the paint out, so I thought I would paint it. All right, so for craft number two, you need a hot glue gun and some sticks or twigs, whatever you want to call them. Um, this is a super simple one. You can add more, you can do less. I decided to start out with the um, Christmas tree looking one or the pine tree. Um, so I just wanted to lay things out first and figure out the shapes and sizes that I wanted for um, my twigs or my sticks as I did this. Alright, and then you just glue them down. And so I did that with the tree, I ended up doing a star. Um, as you can see here, I started to do a snowflake. Now you can make this all like flat on one level and like break that stick um, and do what I'm doing here with this next piece. Or you can do this and kind of give it like different layers kind of of it, as you can see what I did. Um, so you can leave it simple. You can add these Y-shaped ones to it, which I had to make this Y-shape, but the other one was naturally like that. So I feel like that kind of ruined it, but whatever. Um, you can also see that I did a cross. And so yeah, just kind of be creative and do whatever you want to with these. And then I do the same thing with the star, and I decided to add twine to the bottom at this point, but I decided to take that off later on. But you can totally do that with any of these, add twine, add this little gold string that I found, um, find something similar to it. Uh, you could paint these white or gold, or just do, like I said, whatever you want. There's so much that you can do with these, it's so much fun to play around with. And I mean, they're sticks, they're free in the backyard for most people, so... Um, it's just or for a lot of people so it's just really easy to do these crafts and then the last thing I did was add little hooks um, ornament hooks on the ones that I felt like needed them and so I just hot glued that on Alright, so here are the almost finished um, product, and so the snowflake looks so-so. I'm honestly not as happy with it as I was hoping I would be. Um, I think just like these things are just a little awkward. But anyway, um, the cross, I put a little bit of gold um, stuff on right there. The star is probably my favorite. Actually, I think the tree might be, but um, the star is really cute, and I like that I put the gold um, string around it. I think it just gives it a touch of shimmer. And then, which I think is fun. And then the tree is probably my favorite. It's the most simple. And I just put a little bit of gold at the top like it's a star or something. So anyway, I'm going to make sure, like getting some of the, I'm going to get some of the um, hot glue strings off of it. Make sure it looks pretty good or like all of them look pretty good is what I mean. And 
and I stuck my star in my tree. I think it looks great. I love the gold. And then I hung my tree on my tree. How cute is that? Um, you could also drip some essential oils on this or drop them. I mean, not drip, I don't know. And make it smell like pine tree. That would be so much fun. Or cinnamon or whatever. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. And I'll see you all later. Bye.